more Train On Demand. This is Sam coming at you today with some strength training. I'm gonna introduce you to a new piece of equipment today. So if you have a kettlebell at home, please get your kettlebells out, all righty? We're just gonna be doing some functional bodybuilding with it. Um, and then we're gonna go into some kettlebell swings and a little bit of different movement. If you have a kettlebell, bring it here. On Demand is the only place that you will find the kettlebell with powertrain. All right, so let's get ourselves warmed up, get your trackers ready, get your water bottles ready, and let's get started. We're gonna start with some boxer bouncing back and forth. Always getting a warm up in before we do our exercise. This is gradually gonna rev up your cardiovascular system. It's also gonna push increased blood flow to your muscles so that you can get a nice good workout while you're, or get a good, uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna try and say there, but just warm up, feels good, right? Warm up, cool down, just as important. Boxer bouncing side to side in three, two, and one. Taking those legs out wide to the side. So we're gonna do a Cossack squat, so we're gonna go down. Working into that flexibility. So once our blood starts pumping, our lungs are getting nice and fired up, we're gonna work into that flexibility. This is gonna help with your hips, with your knees, and with your ankles. If your foot is popping up, that is totally fine too. Don't worry about it, just trying to sit back in those hips, back nice and low, and up nice and low. Finally, some arm circles. So here we are, we've gotten our cardiovascular systems ready, we've got those hips and those knees ready. Now I want you to use those shoulders. I like to just kind of move around pretty much because I can't stand still. That's just my own problem. All right, so we're moving. Here we go. We're gonna go back to the beginning in three, two, one, boxer bounce it out. So we're right here, kind of, you know, how the boxers hide their face. We're right here, just bouncing her out, bouncing her out. Nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, again in and out. Keep bouncing back and forth. You can also jog it out, get butt kicks, wherever you're feeling today. I like to box or bounce it out. My ankles need to get warmed up sometimes, especially in the cooler weather. Here we go into those Cossacks or Cossack squats. Three, two, one, down. Remember, you can let that foot pop up if you need to. Popping it up or just down. Good. Drive those hips back. Really try to keep that chest lifted. Back. Up. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Circle those arms. Nice big circles all the way around. So we really want to get into those shoulders. You can slow it down if you need to. Really working that shoulder joint right here. We are going to be doing upper body and lower body. So we're going to hit that full body. Nice big movement, squatting, rowing, hinging, and pressing, okay? Here we go. Let's go one more time into that boxer bounce. Woo! Now we're feeling warm. We're feeling good. Nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. If you've got some coordination, you can take those arms up. Nice big breath and down. Good job, you guys. Come on. You've got a few more seconds here. Really control that breathing to get started. And three, two, and one. Nice wide stance and down. Remember, if that foot pops up, it's totally okay. Just means we need to work a little bit more of ankle mobility. We wanna really try to keep it down here so we're getting that stretch all the way across that ankle. That will help with squats. That'll help with deeper positions into your range of motion. Good. Almost there, you guys. Give me two more on each side. We've got one and one. Last one, two. And two, last set of circles. So again, let's move a little slow to start it out. As you're going down past your legs, I want you really to open that chest. So watch how my chest opens. I'm reaching back as far as I can go, coming forward. Now I'm gonna really almost round those scapula. 
So I'm feeling that full range of motion. I'm waking up that whole body. Remember, when we move, I want you to move with intention. If you're just going like this, okay? No, no, no. I want you to really work to get those arm circles, to wake up those, those shoulders and those joints. All right, how are we feeling? I'm gonna do a little cross, cross action here too. Cross, cross action here too. Okay, anyway. All right, so we're gonna get into our portion of strength. Again, not gonna be a huge cardio portion, possibly till the end when we get to two exercises that we're just gonna flip back and forth for 30 seconds on, 30 seconds on. So you're just gonna keep going back and forth. So your heart rate may go up a little bit. This is not intended to be metabolic, a little bit more strength. So if you have your kettlebell, I want you to grab it. If you have a dumbbell, grab it. If you have a jug of water, grab it. Whatever you have at home to work with will work fine. So I'm gonna set myself up into a squat position. We're gonna do 12 of these, then we're gonna move on to the next thing. So I'm gonna grab my kettlebell by its horns up this way, and I'm gonna hold it tight to my chest. I don't want my kettlebell to go out because then I have to fight and it's gonna really be challenging that core. Keep it up on that chest. We're gonna sit back. So we're gonna sit down. As I come up, I'm gonna press the bell forward and down. Down and press. That's two. Down. Up. So we're working that deep squatting down, keeping those knees over those ankles, and we're pressing forward. And down and press. Good job. Down and press. Not moving fast. We're moving with intention here. If you've seen the Christmas commercial with the grandpa and the kettlebell and the little girl, you'll know this move. If you don't know it, look it up. Last one. And down. Good. So that we're getting a little bit of lower body, a little bit of upper body, and a little bit of metabolic, you know, my heart rate's going up. So moving to the next thing, we're gonna do a staggered stance row. So I'm gonna take my feet and I'm gonna stagger them. Soft knee. I'm gonna tip at my hips. So kind of like a deadlift, I'm gonna tip here. What I don't want to happen is my belly to come out and my booty to pop. Mm -mm. I wanna think of tipping that um, bucket. So think of your pelvis as a bucket and think of scooping the water in so my core is nice and tight. Grabbing my kettlebell, keeping that tight uh, position in my core, chest up. I'm gonna row the kettlebell back to my hip, elbow high, down, two, down, three, down. That weight should come up nice and easy into that hip. Yeah, if you're only getting it to here, it's a little heavy. We wanna get that full range. Let the arm hang nice and long. And then I want you to row it up, keeping the shoulders parallel and up. Good, other side. I'm just gonna switch this way. Take my little staggered stance back. Remembering my bucket, I'm gonna tip or bend my knees. I'm gonna engage that core. Nice long arm, shoulders are squared. Row and down, two, down, three, down, four, keeping that elbow moving straight back and that handle going to that hip. One and two, good job. All right, so really pulling into that hip, activating all that muscle down here, keeping those shoulders squared. Try not to rotate up. If you can see me and you're sideways, you're rotating. All right, headed to the next thing. We're gonna do a sumo deadlift. So I'm gonna take my legs wide again, kind of like our Cossack squat where we were wide going back and forth. We're gonna go wide here. My toes are naturally just turning out. I'm not forcing them and I'm not staying parallel. I just have a natural uh, turnout stance. Hinging back, so a hinging exercise. I'm gonna hinge those hips back and I'm gonna sit down grabbing my kettlebell. From here, I'm just standing it up, tapping down, two, down, three, down. Notice my back is flat. So when I say flat, I'm not kinking my neck up here. I'm not rounding my back here. Nope, it's moving as one unit. 
My legs are bending down to lift the weight. Always using our legs to lift and not our back. Give me three, give me two, last one, and done. Nice. So we got our squat, we got our row, we got our sumo deadlift, and now we're going into our push-up, all right? Depending on where you're at in your push-up, this may just be flat on the ground. Knees may be down, it may be elevated. If you have a box or you have a chair, totally fine. Your, your workout. If you want a little challenge, feel free to get that kettlebell down. Go into those diamond push-ups here. All righty, so you may be pushing up here. We're going down and up. Elbows are nice and tight. Again, maybe my knees are down, up. My focus and my goal, keep going, is to get my chest down to the ground. So wherever you're at, if you're elevated, my chest wants to touch the ground or the box, okay? So even if I'm elevated up, elbows in, chest down. Get that full range of motion. Keep going, down and up. All righty, you guys. That was round one, four rounds of this. So get a little drink, quick drink break, nothing too long. We don't wanna rest too long. We'll lose interest in working out. Keep those phones away from you. Don't be texting, checking Facebook in between. This is your time to get your work in. Grab your kettlebell, dumbbell, jug of water, dog, whatever is near you. We're going back to the top. Three, two, and one. We're gonna squat. Press, squat, keeping that core tight, squat, press. This is four. Arms are straight out. If the press is too hard, if the weight's too heavy, just hold that dumbbell or kettlebell and dumbbell right here. Totally fine. Press, three, press, two, squeeze at the top, and one, done. Getting into that staggered stance. Feet together. I like to step back and get myself set, bending the knees, tipping the hips, pelvis forward, bell, and one. Shoulders squared, two, and three. Core is tight, four, and five. Elbows straight back, six. Bell to the hip, seven. Last one, eight, and down. Other side, here we go. Feet together, step it back, dip it down, core tight, tipping forward, one, and two, good. We're just rowing that kettlebell. There's nothing crazy happening with the kettlebell, huh? We're just using it functionally right now. The thing I like about the kettlebell is there is a stability um, factor to it with the bell being the heaviest part, obviously down here, when you're using it in different positions, it kind of challenges your stability. So if I'm going up, you know, really working that. So it's kind of why I like them. Um, there's just a different challenge that goes with them. All right, let's get into that deadlift. Feet out, toes natural. Don't over rotate, don't go parallel. Down, we've got 15, squeezing at the top. Up, and three, and four, good. When I say squeeze at the top, I'm meaning bringing the hips all the way through so we get that neutral body position. Don't overextend. Don't put the weight into your back. Belly button tight. Glutes squeeze. Leg is in line. Give me four. Give me three. And two, last one, and one. Nice job, back to those push-ups. We are almost through round two, all right? Wherever you're at for your push-up, we've got 10, 10, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, come on, two, last one, one. Woo, get yourself a quick drink. Make sure that you're breathing through your nose, out through your mouth. Don't be panting. We wanna keep this as little metabolic as possible. 
I don't, I'm panting because I'm talking and doing it. Um, but for you guys, I want you to think strictly strength, okay? If you're really, really out of breath, slow it down, give yourself a minute, pause me in between the exercises, catch your breath and go back into it. Here we go. Round three to those squats. Grab that kettlebell, dumbbell, jug of water, dog, kid. I don't care what it is. Pick it up. We've got it up. Squat, press, squat, press. Good. Again, remember if you're losing the press, if it's too heavy and you're overcompensating this way, keep the bell at your chest. Think of it as a goblet squat. The press is just something that I've added for a little bit more upper body and for the sentiment of that commercial. That's truly, honestly, all I did it for. That's how I got the kettlebell into powertrain. All right. Give me three. Press. Two. Press. And one. Press. All right. Into that row. Here we go. Feet together. Stepping back. Slight bend in the knee. Pelvis tight, grab that bell, shoulders squared. You got eight, eight, and seven, good. Six, give me a good squeeze at the top. Five, four, be honest at the top there. Three, hold it, fight for that work. And one, and down. Don't give up on yourself. Remember, I'm not there to correct you, but I am here to encourage you to be honest with yourself and understand what you need today to get through your day, your moment, um, your fitness journey, all right? Here we go, ooh, step back, bend, tip to get that core engaged, arm hangs down nice and low, row, down, and two, down, three, Nothing else is moving. I'm taking that arm and rowing all the way back. My elbow is pulling up high. Give me two more. Two, last one, one hand down. All right, let's get to that deadlift. So when we're working this deadlift, I really want you to feel it in that posterior chain. I want those glutes or hamstrings working, glutes working into that lower back and even up here, because as I'm connecting with that kettlebell, I'm locking in those scapula, okay? That whole posterior chain, meaning my backside, okay? Work it, get it, own it, go! One, down, two, down, try not to tip, three, down, up, four, down, five, feel those glutes, six, Feel the hamstrings. I want you to feel the whole foot on the floor. Feel that big toe touching the ground all the way around to the side of your foot and into that heel. Driving those hips back, you've got three. You've got two. Last one, one, and done. Down to those push-ups. Where are you at? Perhaps you're on the wall. Maybe you're on a counter or a desk totally fine. This is for you to gain your strength. Alrighty, so if I'm on the wall, maybe I'm just bringing my chest to the wall and back. If I'm on the ground, I may be elevating this for a little bit more of a progression and a challenge, or I may be working to just get five good push-ups and go. Up, two, up, three, up, Good job, stick with it. Squeeze the glutes. We forget that the push-up is really a core exercise as well. So we want the whole core to be tight. Squeeze the butt, two more, two, last one, one, and up. Excellent. We have one more round of that, okay, you guys? So get a quick drink, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Give yourself about 30 seconds, and we're gonna get into that last squat to press. Your body knows exactly what to expect at this point, right? Our nervous system is caught up, our brain is working, it's firing. However, at this point, your muscles may be fatiguing, which is fine. I want you to be honest with yourself. If you're losing form, if you're sacrificing form, you're stopping. You're not gonna push through, you're not gonna look 
crappy when you're moving, and I don't want you to get hurt. So as soon as you start to feel anything bad in the back, or if you're starting to sink in the belly, or rotating, call it, wait for the other side. Here we go, last set we go, squat and press. Squat and press. Good, remember, if the press is really challenging at this point, you're just holding the bell. You've just turned it into a goblet squat. Down, that's five. And up, down, core is tight. Here we go, we've got four more. Four, and press it, maybe three. Press it, two, press, and one, and press. Good job, you guys. Moving into that row, setting her up. By this point, you should be able to step into it. While we're working out, I know we like to turn off our brains, but I want you to try to stay in it mentally. Yeah, you can think while you're working, but think about all of the cues that you're getting. Focus in on what your instructor is saying or your trainer is saying. One, I know we all have a tendency to think of other things. I'm the worst, sometimes somebody's talking to me, I have no idea what they're talking about because I'm thinking 10 minutes ahead of what I have to do. Be present. Sit and listen to people. Ask them questions and be interested, okay? Be interested in why you're doing this today. Not just because you have to work out. You get to work out and you get to be strong and you're able to move. Here we go. And up, down, and two. And up, three, nice job. Four, what are you thinking about? Five, are you thinking about the form that's going on? Or have you lost the form and you're thinking what your kids are doing somewhere in the house? Or your dog's barking and you're wondering what they're barking at, yeah? Don't worry about it, it'll be fine, okay? Unless the fire alarms go off, then you got something to worry about. Okay, here we go. Nice and wide, we're at that sumo deadlift. Hips are driving back, chest is staying up. Body, we're attacking that posterior chain. Here we go, up one, down, two. Good, I'm keeping that core tight. And four, and five. Nice work, you guys. Six, keep those knees nice and safe. Don't let them track over the toes. Feel the whole foot on the floor. Use that big toe. All right, and up. You've got four, you've got three, and two, last one, and one. All right, we're at those push-ups, everybody's favorite. I don't care who you are, a push-up. They're just sometimes they, push-ups and pull-ups can just really humble you, right? Um, don't let it. I want you to fight for it. There was a time in my life I couldn't do them. And I remember they, I remember clearly, not vaguely, being in the Planet Fitness room and thinking, I'm never gonna get this. I got it, consistency. Yeah, I'm shooting some words out at you today that I want you to remember. Being honest, being consistent, being present, yeah? Being interested, ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask. If you don't know something, don't be afraid to ask to learn more. Here we go, you've got three, you've got two, and you've got one, woo, all right. That is it for the strength portion. We're gonna move into our next section, which is just gonna be 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, okay? I'm gonna teach you both moves first, and then we're gonna just rock back and forth, back and forth. We're only gonna go through it three times, okay? So, what we're gonna do, first thing, is we're gonna do a curl halo. So, I'm gonna grab my kettlebell. Normally, when you pick it up, you're gonna wanna pick it up like this. I'm gonna challenge you to pick it up by the horns with my thumbs down, okay? So I'm gonna pick it up, notice my thumbs are on the outside, I'm gonna flip the bell up. So I'm looking at the bottom of the bell. I'm gonna curl it, so, sorry. From here, I'm gonna curl it up, keeping my elbows tight. From here, I'm gonna tip that pelvis, keeping my core tight. I'm gonna go around, face down, curl it up. Go the opposite way, face down, curl it up. Around, face down. We're getting some shoulder mobility, we're getting some upper body, we're getting some core. The next thing, here it is. If you love a kettlebell, you've been waiting for it the whole time. We're setting up 
our kettlebell stance, okay? So I'm standing at my kettlebell. There's kind of a triangle happening here. Kettlebell's in the front. My feet are back from it and on the sides. Driving those hips back with that nice hinge. I'm gonna sit. My bell is right here. I'm gonna hike it between my legs like a football player. Look, see, see how relevant it is? Football powertrain. Here we go, ready? So, we're gonna tip it back. I'm gonna hike it back through my legs. As I hike it, my hips are snapping that bell. All right, I think the common um, confusion about a kettlebell swing is we think it's upper body, and it's really not. Once the bell goes through your legs, you are thrusting that bell to snap it, and your hips are actually, I'm sorry, your hips? Your glutes are actually firing the bell. So there's a snap at the top and the bell floats. All righty? So we've got our halos for 30 seconds and then our kettlebell swings. Are we ready for this? Here we go. Grab that kettlebell. My feet are nice under my shoulders and my hips. I'm gonna curl it up. We got 30 seconds. Curl, one, down, good. Keep those elbows nice and tight and that core. My knees are soft. If you can see me, if I'm on like a big screen, maybe someday I will be for real and like famous. You can see my knees are soft. I'm not hyperextending. We want the blood to keep flowing. We want that core to stay tight. Curl, you've got five seconds. Down, let's set her up. Here we go, 30 seconds of swings and one. Remember, we're snapping those hips and it is staying at that shoulder height. All right, we're not going any higher, but we're allowing that bell to snap up into place, snap. Good, you're almost there. Keep working, let it float. Three, two, and one, round two. Grab that bell, bring it up, here we go. So we curl around, face, down and curl around, face down, up. Nice work, face down, curl it up. Keep those elbows tight, face and down. Two more, up, face, last one. Opposite way to circle your head, face and down. Here we are, kettlebell swings. Driving those hips back, hike that bell and one. Here we go, 30 seconds. Snap those hips. Whew. Whew. Yeah, snap it, squeeze that bell. You don't want it to fly anywhere, right? Not out the window, not into the wall. Here we go, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Last set, here we are. By now your heart rate may be up a little bit, just spiking that heart rate into a little bit of a conditioning um, portion. Curl it up, here we go. So I'm down, I'm gonna go curl around, face down. Curl, round, face down and up. Mm, good job, here we go. Curl it up, face, elbows are tight, chest is out. On that bicep curl, then we open everything up, curl, Open and round, getting into those shoulders. Four, up, and almost done. Last one, and down. Good work. Last set of kettlebell swings. Here we go. Set it up, tip that bell back. Look at me just dripping sweat. Here we go, and one. We got this for the last 30 seconds. Again, focus in. Feel that snap from the hips which is what is the momentum to take that bell up. Working that posterior chain. Whew. Shoulder height, no higher. Halfway, come on you guys. Finish out strong. Squeeze that bell, hinge those hips. Three, two, and one. Woo! Good job today, you guys. Open those arms up. Cross it over your body. Give me a good stretch. Feet are right under you. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. And 
and out. Other side. Here we go, crossing it. Good job. Now your posterior chain might be feeling that a little bit. Your lower back might be feeling that. So we're gonna get down on the ground. We're gonna do a little cat cow um, to finish you out. Opening and stretching those arms. So here, I'm gonna take my fingers. I'm gonna lace them back here. Open that chest. I'm gonna bend forward, slight bend in my knees, and let that hamstring take the stretch. Woo! Good job, good job. Feel that in your shoulders. I'm gonna bring those shoulders down. I'm gonna roll up slowly. Nice, now I'm gonna take them here. I'm gonna press. I'm gonna contract in my belly, rounding that back. So we're gonna round into that back a little bit, yeah. Good work. Good, good, good. I'm gonna take them up. I'm gonna step to the side, stretch out that side. And up, other side, stretch. And up. Great job today, you guys. I am Sam with Powertrain On Demand, and this was your first kettlebell workout. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe so you can see more content just like this.